So today, I would like to share with you how I chose what majors I majored in in university because it definitely was not what I thought I was going to major in when I started my program. Hi, I'm Haley Renee and welcome to my channel. I try to help people reduce the stress that comes with work or studying by helping people automate as much of their life as possible. I came into university planning to major in physics and math. These were the subjects that I had enjoyed when I was in high school. In fact, I was pretty obsessed with physics all the way through high school. And I would just assume that that's what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. In fact, I had plans to be a college professor in physics. Like that was my goal. That is not what I ended up doing. And the truth is, is that I did enjoy them. I enjoyed taking the physics classes and the math classes while I was in university, but I actually found something I enjoyed more. So I went to Rice University. It's a really good college down in Texas. And one of the requirements of Rice is that everybody take at least four science classes, four humanities classes, and four social science classes. But they can be anything. And your major classes count. So since I was physics and math coming in, I had all the science classes basically taken care of, which means I had to fill my electives up with humanities and social science classes. Since these didn't fit in with my major, I just picked whatever classes that like sounded cool. And I took a bunch of really cool classes like my first couple semesters, including like introduction to linguistics and linguistic analysis. And I did a philosophy class and I think I did a psychology class all kinds of like things that I just found super interesting. So during the first semester of my second year, I had kind of a moment of revelation when I realized that I wasn't really enjoying the physics class and the math class that I was taking as much as I was enjoying these elective classes. And in fact, the physics and math classes were kind of boring, like they weren't boring, but they were just not as interesting as the physics classes that I had taken in high school had initially been when I was first introduced to the topics. Whereas when I was taking my linguistics classes, like this was stuff was thrilling. So when I came to realize that I wasn't enjoying the physics and math classes as much as I thought I would, I was like, hmm, do I really want to stick with this program? And ultimately the answer was no. I decided to drop physics and math as my majors and kind of start from scratch, figure out what I wanted to do from there. So I, I was like, okay, now what? What am I gonna major in now? So I started looking at the elective classes that I had taken. Linguistics, philosophy, psychology, all of these classes fit under the realm of cognitive science. So for those of you who have never heard of cognitive science, cognitive science is a interdisciplinary degree that combines psychology, philosophy, linguistics, and computer science. It's basically the study of the brain, the mind, and, and basically how your mind works, which is cool, I think at least. Before coming to college, I had never heard of cognitive science before, but it turns out I was very interested in this subject. So that's what I decided to switch my major to. Most of the cognitive science classes count as social science classes. So I filled up most of my social science requirements with my new cognitive science classes for my new major. And since I had already filled, finished my science classes when I was doing physics and math, didn't have to worry about that. So now all I needed to focus on was humanities. I needed a couple more humanities classes to get all my electives in. So for these humanities classes, I started looking through the syllabus and I found a class called the Enlightenment of the Body. It was a religious studies class and I was like, that sounds kind of cool. I don't really know what it's about, but why not? I'll sign up for it. What this class ended up doing was making me realize how big of an interest I had in religion and not religion specifically, but metaphysics. So kind of spirituality, the study of new age, spirituality, how, how new age came to America, all that kind of stuff. What enlightenment of the body ended up being was the history of a place called Esalen, which is a retreat center in California that was a big part of the 60s in the hippie movement. It has a lot of American New Age cultural roots. So 
I was fascinated. I had never heard of the place before, and taking a class, I was fascinated. And since I wouldn't be a very good writing student if I didn't have two majors, it seems like almost everyone double majors there, I decided to add religious studies as a second major. So I was majoring in cognitive science and religious studies. The study of the mind and the study of spirituality. They work together in their own kind of weird way. It, I thoroughly enjoyed the rest of my time at college. It was actually one of my linguistics classes that led to my first job after college. In, but that, that'll be a different video. So what can you take away? If you're in university now, and you're not enjoying your major, if it's not living up to your expectations that you originally had hoped for, I highly recommend thinking about why. Why is it not living up to your expectations? Have you found something better? Do you, is this the thing you really want to do for the rest of your life? I had advice given to me once that you should major in something that lights you up. And that's exactly what I did. And it's probably one of the best decisions that I could have made. Also, by loving my schoolwork, I really made the rest of my college experience better. I got really deep into swing dancing during university. And so I was spending my days studying, going to classes and studying really cool stuff. And I'm spending my nights going swing dancing. It was a very awesome period of time in my life. So yeah, that's what I majored in in college and why I changed my major partway through. In the end, I had to do five years because I couldn't fit as much of the physics and math major and then the, the whole two other majors in, in the period of time I had left. But it was so worth it. To me, it was so worth it. So if you're struggling with this right now, I wish you luck in figuring out what you want to do. So now that you're getting to know me a little better, I hope to get to know you too. Leave a comment. Let me know what your major is and how you chose your major. I would love to know. All right. I will see you in the next video. Next week, I'll have part two of the Get to Know Me series, where I'll be talking about the year that I started a web development firm, made a bunch of money, and was miserable and shut it down. So stay tuned for that, and I will see you next week. Cheers. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button so you know when the next part of this series comes out.